friends and welcome you all back to the channel. Happy to see you all once again in another video. Today's video is the most awaited video. So also I apologize for making you wait for so long. So my, most of you have asked me for the Sinestra tutorial for a long time. The real thing is uh, I don't know actually how to play her. So I just made some research and learned her how to play and then made this video. So I will share you what I have learnt and this is a tutorial and complete guide on Sinestria. Viewers who play Clash of Titans, this titan is not yet released in Clash of Titans. This hero is only available in Arena of Valor but soon will be released in COD. So COD players can ignore if you are not interested. So all these things kept aside, let's get right into the video. Let us look at her passive. First, the active equipment ability slot is permanently replaced with the skill, Flesh Oblation. So when this skill is used, after 3 seconds Sinestria will die and explodes, dealing damage to all the enemies nearby within the range and stunning them for 1 second. During this time Sinestria is untargetable and this process cannot be reversed or cancelled during progressing. Now uh, let's see the interesting part, when she uses this skill, if she has 7 kills then she will be resurrected with full HP at the same location she died. Now let me explain this mechanism in detail. With each kill, Sinestria will gain a blood bramble which will be consumed each time she uses flesh oblation. The blood bramble count will be shown above the talent button. When she uses flesh oblation, each stack of the blood bramble will reduce 4% of her res resurrection time. If Sinestria has 7 blood bramble, when she uses the flood obla flesh oblation, then she will be resurrected with full HP at the exact same location she died. Now let me demonstrate you how she will be resurrected with uh, 7 stacks from her blood bramble. After 7 stacks, the blood bramble count won't increase. 7 stacks are the maximum limit. Now friends, you can see clearly we have gained 7 blood bramble. Now if we use the blood oblation, then she will be resurrected instantly in the same location she died. Now friends, as you may already know that Sinestria and Dextra are blood related. So if they are uh, in the same team, there are many fascinating and interesting combos available to try. Let's start with the Flesh Oblation. Here you can see I have only one stack of Blood Bramble. But when Dextra is in our team and has her ultimate, if I use my Flesh Oblation, I will be resurrected with any com without any consumption of Blood Brambles. But for Dextra, she will lose all her HP with her one HP left and her ultimate turns on automatically. So basically you should need Dextra's ultimate to perform this combo. From Dextra's perspective, if Sinestria uses Flood Oblation, the Flood Oblation Ritual confirmation button will appear above the talent button of the Dextra player. So if you tap it, then Dextra will be stripped of her whole HP with one HP left. And her ultimate turns on automatically with her normal ultimate time. I think it's 4 seconds. During this time, Dextra cannot use her abilities or normal attacks, also she can't move. Also due to her active ultimate, she won't die either. After the ultimate duration ends, an explosion which deals a little damage to all the enemies who are nearby. After her ultimate ends, she can be normal, can use her abilities and can attack, also she can move. As I have already mentioned that, the active equipment ability slot is permanently replaced with the flood oblation. So you can't use any other active equipments like bow of slaughter, arctic orb and uh, rock shield or also the support items either. Her ability 1 is a small dash. So after that dash, if she do don't move then she will become invisible. Also, her S1 has a unique passive. After the S1 is learnt, if she doesn't move for more than 2.5 seconds, she will become invisible and fall asleep. 
and she will be visible when she uses her abilities auto attacks and also she moves she will become invisible if every 2.5 seconds if she don't move a bit but uses her abilities and normal attacks too so if you are attacking any epic monsters by standing in a same place you will become invisible after 2.5 seconds and she will be back to visible again as she was doing attacking if she becomes invisible or uses her s1 her next normal attack when she is in the assassin or melee mode will get enhanced and she will rush towards the target while using the normal attack the enhanced attack will have an additional piercing effect basically her ability to is used to shift her attacking range between ranged and melee Ranged means marksman mode and melee means assassin mode or warrior mode and there is more to it when in assassin mode her normal attacks will has a certain percentage of life steal also she deals additional damage equal to 4% of the target's last hp so the lower the hp of the target the higher the damage she deals when in marksman mode her normal attacks will consume 4% of her current hp so you don't worry when your hp is low it will consume lower than no normal and it will it won't kill you now watch closely she deals around 300 to 320 physical damage and it keeps on increasing when the enemy's hp becomes down so but in marksman mode she won't deal additional damage When she is in the ranged attack mode uh, while she hits a target she will leave some blood strains as stacks which will start disappear after 6 seconds you can see how many stacks the enemy has and the attacks you did above your talent button after 6 seconds the blood strain starts disappearing one by one so after 6 seconds gaining additional stacks is hard if you don't have a decent attack speed Using her normal attack in the air also decreases her HP. You can also see the stacks on top of the uh, enemy's head who you are attacking. You can see clearly a flower shaped mark uh, with five petals on the top of Tain's head. So if you have three blood stains or attack him three times, the first petal will become red and it goes for the rest. So at 15 stacks, all the five petals will be red. but it will be more clear about your talent button so after getting stacks if you shift to melee mode then the stacked blood strain will turn into swords and return to sinestria recovering 4% of her lost hp for each sword otherwise you will make the swords to make explosion in a targeted area dealing damage to the enemies while the swords travel from the target to the desired destination it will deal damage to the enemies who are in its path the target dies when she attacks then the blood stains will turn into swords and will return to her automatically the explosion is fully based on the stacks If you have one stack, one sword will travel to the target area and explode. If you have 15 stacks, then it will explode 15 times. You can't change the location once the explosion started. Here you can see clearly the swords dealing damage when passing through the target. Her ultimate has a very good passive which increases her movement speed by 30% when she falls below 40% of her hp so it will start triggering once you learn your ultimate then she will be back to normal when her hp is once again come to above 40% when she uses her ultimate on an enemy hero the hp of sinestria and the enemy will be shared evenly and the hp lost is considered as the magic damage and the hp gained is considered as healing During this ritual she will be immune to all the attacks and crowd controls. This ritual ability won't takes place with a percentage HP. Instead it will affect the amount HP. Say for example Sinestria has 3000 HP then she lost 2000 HP and now you have 1000 HP right. So if the enemy like Tain have uh, 1200 HP of full 
then if she uses her ultimate then 2000 hp will be lost by then and will be healed by synestia if the enemy is also having 2000 hp then both will end up having 1000 hp at the end of the ritual if the hp of synestria and the enemy are the same say for example both have 1000 hp remaining and if synestria uses her ultimate then nothing will happen there will be no healing and no damage now let us see some things that you may not know normally when you go inside a tower it will start attacking you at once right but when she becomes invisible and dashes inside the tower will start attacking after 1.5 seconds then if you recall when she is invisible she will come to sight for a split second and then she will be recalled back being invisible as I told you before, Synestria and Dextra are blood related. So, if you target the blood swords on Dextra, it will hear 4% of Dextra's lost HP. Friends, now let us see about the build, arcana and enchantments of her. So, Synestria is basically an assassin, right? So, this, is, this can be used in her jungle, increases her critical damage and uh, attack speed and critical chance. This build is good when you are in a lane and uh, instead of slick sting you can go for uh, fafnis talent it would be better so guys synestria literally has more lifesteal than any of the other uh, heroes with her passives so you can uh, you don't want to build her with uh, uh, lifesteal items you instead you can go for like attack speed and attack damage equipments more to deal highest damages this build right here can give you a little sustain when you jump into the team uh, jump into the fight and go for the arcana you can go for normal assassin arcana i mean assassin warrior arcana or you can go for attack speed arcana also if you are uh, trying to go for uh, critical damage equipments then you can go for critical chance and critical damage arcana so now let's see about the enchantment. So this is the most common enchantment used for Sinistria. So it deals additional damage when you hit the target 3 times and it has enhanced restore and uh, armor penetration buffs. Also if you make a movement ability then if you make an attack then it will increase your damage and the resistance is also given with extra. Now let us see how to play her. So actually I don't know uh, more about Sinistria. So I will try to share you what I know. So uh, if you are playing Sinestria like an assassin, you can stay invisible and if the enemy comes near you, you can start attacking with your uh, normal attacks of your normal melee mode. So if the enemies try to attack, I mean uh, try to escape from you, you can shift it to like the ranged mode and you can attack them and kill them easily. Don't use your ultimate unnecessarily, use it uh, when your HP is low. Don't use it when you have like 80% of your HP also. Don't use it when the enemy HP is low. So many will think that her ultimate is like an execute. If you use your ultimate at this time, then the enemy will gain HP and kill you with a thank you. So then if you are attacking the enemy tank with ranged attacks, you can use your S2 to target uh, the blood swords on the enemy's backline to deal burst damage to the squishy heroes. If you wanna escape when your HP falls below 40%, your movement speed increases. Change your range to marksman range and uh, keep poking and retreat so that the enemies can't catch you and also you also deal damage to them. The next is you can reduce the HP of enemies below 30%. I mean 50 to 30 percentage then you can use the explosion on them and use S2 S1 to jump on the target and deal more damage and kill them. If you come out of a fight with a very low HP switch to assassin mode and heal your HP with the creeps and minions. The whole point of the assassin style needs a decent assassin build and for the MM style you need a best MM build. When you go for MM build, you can go for like uh, critical chance and damages. For assassin build, the attack damage build is perfect. Although both builds compromise a good damage for both the styles. So that's all for today's video friends. I have shared you everything I know, but this is not uh, all. 
there is more you will find it when you play her so uh, also i have struggled a lot to make this video getting scolded as a noob during matches and stuff like that but finally i uh, i was so happy that i made it so friends a like subscribe and share will be appreciated the most then see you all in the next video until then bye bye and have a great day friends